The disappearing natural habitat of honeybees. When you think of honeybees, you probably imagine that their home looks something like this. When in fact, a honeybee's natural home is in a tree. Did you know scientists have found that in an entire square mile area of forest, an average of only one tree will have the suitable characteristics to become a bee tree? So what is a bee tree, you might ask? This is the process of how a bee tree is formed. During a storm, strong winds blow and a branch breaks off of a tree. After time, a knot forms in place of the branch. Insects immediately begin eating away at the soft, spongy, exposed tree interior called the pith. As time passes, a cavity is created in the tree that has the suitable space for a colony of bees to move in. This tree cavity is the ideal home for honeybees. The tree's dense branches and leaves above provide shade from the sun's intense rays, allowing the internal tree cavity to be as much as 20 degrees cooler in the summer. During the frigid cold winter months, the thick walls of the tree provide the perfect insulation for bees to easily moderate the internal temperature of the hive, keeping it warm and toasty inside. So all is well with honeybees, right? Wrong. The fact is that trees are being cut down all over the world removing honeybees' natural habitats at exponential rates. In the plain states of the U.S., where land is predominantly used for agricultural row crop farming, heavily treed areas are already scarce. Unfortunately, even trees that once lined fields are now being cut down to make room for additional crops to be planted. Additionally, the goal of commercial beekeepers to produce as much honey as possible from their beehives has altered the way that honeybees naturally live. Practices such as using improperly insulated hives that wildly fluctuate in temperature, overfilling bee yards with hundreds of colonies in one area, over-harvesting honey and feeding back nutritionally deficient sugar syrup substitutes and exposing bees to toxic chemical treatments have all stressed and weakened bee colonies, making them susceptible to pests and diseases, and have contributed to the yearly average 40% loss of managed honeybee colonies in the United States. So how important are honeybees anyway? Well, according to the USDA, Honeybees are responsible for one in every three bites of food we take. In addition, 35% of the world's food crops depend on pollinators to produce food. Imagine the dire consequences if one day honeybees completely disappeared. So what can we do to save honeybees? At Nelbee, we are on a mission to ensure the survival of honeybees in unique ways. First, we are working to improve honeybee genetics to develop bee stock that excels at survival. To start, we have carefully selected bee colonies from apiaries around the Midwest and northern climates that have proven overwintering survivor stock genetics and have demonstrated a resistance to varroa mites in untreated hives. Each year, our colonies are requeened from our strongest hives that demonstrate the ideal genetic characteristics of resisting pests and diseases, with the goal of exceeding a 90% colony survival rate. Our honeybees are a combination of diverse bee races, including Russian, Carniolan, and feral Midwestern bees that have survived for years unaided by human intervention. Next, we are working to improve beehives. At Nelby, we have taken a standard Layens European horizontal hive design and have added our own unique improvements. We have built our beehives to closely reflect the insulation level of bee trees found in nature. In addition, we have built a beehive that is robust and has the proper weatherproofing to withstand years of exposure to the elements. We are striving to build the ideal bee house that can withstand minimal human intervention year-round in areas without bee trees and natural habitat. 
Additionally, through our hive management service, our goal is to return pollinators to nature by establishing small colony apiaries statewide. Rather than keeping bees in one location for only honey production, we are establishing pollinators in more diverse locations, including acreages, orchards, vineyards, downtown building rooftops, corporate outdoor sprawls, and individuals' own backyards. Finally, we are on a mission to return land to nature by purchasing land, replanting trees, and creating natural pollinator habitats and nature preserves across Nebraska. We are striving to ensure the survival of honeybees for future generations. At Nelby, we are striving to transform the beekeeping industry through a sustainable, bee-centric, nature-friendly approach. Thank <laughs> you.